guys welcome to another video if I lost all of my collection let's hope that never ever happens but if it did and I to restart my collection which are the 10 things that I would start it with so this is a tag video so thank you so much to Steph from Handbag Holic who tagged me and I think the tag was originally started by Isabel Style. So I will link everybody's details below. So which of the 10 items I would choose? Let's get going. So the way I am going to do this video is I'm not looking at things that are going to be impossible to repurchase. I'm assuming I can get all of these things again really easily. And I'm also assuming that uh, price wise, yeah all of that is sort of off the table so i decided i would need five bags because if you saw my video from a while ago i keep saying you only need five bags you only need five <laughs> so i'm going to share with you my five and they might be different to the other five that i showed you because yeah things move on and things change and then the other five are made up of other bits and pieces that i think collectively would restart my collection so let's start with one of the bags so the first bag that i need is a tote bag a everyday large bag that can be used for everything so it's this one easy some of these aren't easy for me this one is easy this is the bag i would repurchase in this exact combination so it's the monogram never full in the gm i went for the one with the beige interior I wouldn't mind what interior it had but essentially i would repurchase this because i could use it for work i could use it for travel i use it for the gym just use it for all of those times where you need to throw a load of stuff in and it's just easy and lovely and wonderful so enough said about this one that is the first one that i would repurchase so now i have my tote bag my travel bag my everyday everything bag I also would like another everyday bag, but that is not quite as big. We don't always need a large tote, do we? Now, this is harder for me because I do have quite a few options of this. Mm, anyway, I've gone for this one. I just think it is. It's one of my favourite, favourite, favourite ever bags. It's super special to me. And I just think the Birkin 30 is so easy. It is the perfect size. If you haven't seen my video comparing all the sizes, have a look at that one however i just think the birkin 30 i can use this in the evening i can use it during the day I can fit loads in it it's beautiful isn't it it's very special it's hermes which is has to be my favorite brand along with louis vuitton and dior probably anyway i love hermes and the quality of it and i just think it's really important if i'm starting my collection again that i have that absolutely special piece that absolutely beautiful one but that's practical and can use it every day so this is my second choice this was harder but this was my second choice so i'm going to move on to shoes now i'm going to mix this up a little bit and yeah i don't want a lot of designer shoes i don't buy a lot of designer shoes anymore i just don't i think that there are some amazing high street brands you don't need to spend a fortune however I have I have a few where I have spent a fortune and this is one pair that I would not be without and it's the these are absolutely battered now but these are the Chanel sneakers and they are they're just perfect for me they are black <laughs> a little bit of white I'll just show you a bit close up these oh yeah they probably need a good clean actually but these are the most comfortable shoes I have ever bought these are amazing they are stupidly expensive but every single trip that i go on where i'm on my feet where i'm walking around i take these because i know that i can wear these all day they are so comfortable they're comfortable at the back they're just spongy and i can walk miles in these and they still look really nice they don't look too they look, I mean, they look like a, a sneaker. They're like a trainer, aren't they? But they're not overly athletic looking like you are exactly going to the gym. So I can wear these with leather trousers, with jeans. 
I don't so much wear these with dresses or long skirts and things but you can and yeah as I say these are very dirty now these are worth every penny I would repurchase these in a heartbeat and then I've got my comfy everyday shoe sorted so I'm going to choose one pair of shoes as the the heels the glam dressy heels these are the two that I really would recommend the hang easies the Manolo Blahnik hang easy I went for the black of course I did so these are in the beautiful satin and they've got mine are the 90 heel which for me it's enough Honestly, the 105s are just more uncomfortable and the 90 are comfortable enough, but they still give you the same sort of height, that heel look. It looks like a, a high heel. It doesn't look like a midi heel. They just go with everything. I've worn these literally with jeans and a blazer and I've also worn them with a cocktail dress, a black tie, dinner outfit. They are stunning. I adore them. They are not the most comfortable at the end of the night, but I don't think any high heels are, but these I do pretty well. But the other pair that I wanted to mention is the YSL. And these are the, I think they're called the Tribute Sandal. And you can see they've got a really big platform. And again, I think they're a hundred heel. I believe they're a hundred heel, but because of the really big platform here, I think... The angle of your foot it feels more like a i would say maybe an 80 or something these are unbelievably comfortable you can see there the angle of your foot isn't too bad even though it looks like a super sexy high high heel so i love these my husband calls these my stripper shoes <laughs> he when i was looking at these he was like what <laughs> really you want them and i thought he'd love them but actually he does love them now these have been incredible so these are definitely my comfiest high heel shoes so when i'm choosing between the two it's really really difficult because these are a sandaly whereas the others obviously are more of a court shoe um a full shoe so which would i go for ah oh, i don't know i think i would i think i would probably go for the manolos just because they will serve every purpose any event anything they can dress them up and dress them down these maybe less so oh, it's really difficult but i probably would go for these okay back to bags so we've got our tote bag we've got our reasonable size everyday bag that can also be an evening bag and an everything bag so i reckon we now need a summer bag so now i have two options for this so I have my absolutely beautiful, I've talked about this one so many times, my absolutely beautiful um, Chanel 19 and this is in the denim. And I think this just lends itself to being um, more summery just because of the fabric and not obviously wanting to take it out um, in bad weather. And also this, even if you're wearing a navy, <laughs> a navy jumpsuit, a navy maxi dress, or that's the sort of thing I wear in the summer. This looks amazing, but also with white. I think this looks beautiful with maybe a white maxi dress or um, maybe a shirt dress, something like that. So this is an absolutely amazing, beautiful option. But my other, that was my only summer bag. It really was, and now I have this one. So this was my one of my newest bags, and this is the um, Louis Vuitton speedy my very first ever speedy so i went for the damier azure so you can see i haven't used it yet and the only reason i haven't used it i'm dying to use it but yeah we just haven't had the weather it's been so rainy here um so at the moment i'm just letting it breathe <laughs> at home um but it will be coming on holiday with me when we go later in the year um and i can't wait to use it then when the weather gets better here i'll be using it so this is a fantastic option for the summer you can fit loads in it it's got the um it's the bandolier i've got a, an organizer in here at the minute just to keep the shape of it um, when it's on the shelf although i do like the slouchy look and yeah because it's got the bandolier um i think this is a really good option it's crossbody top handle and then i realized the um the strap on it has two different buckles and so you can make it into a little shoulder bag as well um, which I just thought was brilliant. So this is very, very versatile. 
so this gives me a bit of a quandary what do i do this is this makes my heart sing so much this is really really practical oh this is so hard which one which one I think I'll go for this one, which may be a surprise. Oh, but no, I love this one. I think it has to be this one. Oh, I don't know. No, I'll go for this one. I'm going for this one because I think it is a really good practical being, yeah, in your first, when you're starting your collection again, I think this, I think this is going to be more versatile. Oh, God, I feel really bad now. Anyway, this is my summer bag. So let's move on to a couple of things that are, not bags so i have to i have to repurchase this this is the mini pochette i have had this for years now i went for the um damier abeen in this i just love all the monogram um all the canvases the monogram the abeen the azure i just love them all but this i don't know i just thought this suited this little pouch really well but the size of this pouch is perfect you can fit in all your little bits and pieces i call this a little catch-all because literally you can put i put bits of makeup in it i will put my airpods in it some plasters um, some compede things like that some tablets i always get really bad migraines so um, i always have to carry tablets around and and does anybody else get this i get really really bad cold sores anyway not that anybody needs to know that I have to carry cream for that in case it appears from nowhere so anyway i just think this is the perfect catch-all for any bag it won't go in all the mini bags but this yeah i would not be without this i've used this pretty much every single day for years and years and years and years so this is a definite and while we're on the subject of slgs and things like that I'm going to bring this into the mix. This is the, and this has got my key on it at the moment. This is the key clay. Now, I went for the one in the on prompt leather, and it's like the bicolor one. And to be honest, I only went for this one because it was the only one they had in store when I decided I was going to go buy one. But I love it. And I have used this every single day since I bought it. So I love it. I've switched out from my, I had a six ring key holder. And I went to this and I just love it. I just love how you can fit your, your car key in it. And then you can also fit the lipstick in it. You can fit a credit card in it. You can fit, say, a couple of tablets in it, some cream, anything. Anything that you need. I don't carry a lot of keys. I don't need a big bunch of keys. So this, for me, is perfect. And if you don't want to use it for keys, it's a perfect little catch-all for all your mini bags so this is just absolutely brilliant i figured now we need an evening bag or something that is a little bit more for evening and i've got three options for this and i don't know in fact i've probably got four because i really want to include that one as well but let's stick with these three i don't know which to choose i just don't know so my first one is this i've, <laughs> I've talked about this in every video just look at it it's just beautiful it goes with every outfit if you're going to a black tie dinner this will be absolutely beautiful if you're going to a cocktail party it's perfect if you're going out for dinner somewhere really beautiful it's perfect if you're going out for dinner somewhere really casually it's perfect you can fit enough in it it's just beautiful so it does fit in what you need for an evening it really does how can it not be this one but i do have two other options so another option is this one this is the chanel walk the wallet on chain and mine is in the black caviar with silver hardware i've used this so much since i got it and it's only recently since i got the petite mal that i haven't reached for this quite as much quite as much but i love this with travel as well you wear this so that you've got it close to your body you can keep your documents in it any valuables etc and then when you get to your destination this is a fantastic evening bag you can use it as a clutch it's obviously got the the chain it's got the uh, card slots etc in it so it's just wonderful so if you start a new collection 
oh, this is just it, it i don't know it just can't be beaten but i just love the petite mouth so much i wouldn't be without it anyway this is a definite definite option and my other option for the evening is this i've just got this one so because of that it's extremely um special to me at the moment this i think it'll always be special to me but it's on my mind so much because it's new and i want to use it all the time i just think a bag like this it's fiddly to get in and out of don't get me wrong but you can fit quite a lot in this you really can and it's just stunning look at the color the color the leather this is such a talking point again you can use this crossbody during the day i know we talk about evening but you can use this more casually crossbody you can then for an an evening event i mean this would just be a showstopper but how do i choose between these three for my evening bag do i go for the very very special one do i go for the one that just has my heart or do I go for the absolute practical, wonderful one that if you're starting your collection again, surely this would be a lot more versatile. But if you're starting your collection again, wouldn't you want just a little bit of something special in it? Oh, I don't know. It's very, <laughs> it's a tough choice. I think I will go for this. And I know that might surprise everybody, but I just think an all round everything. Oh, but then this one this is really really tough oh, i just wouldn't be without this one though and actually this does everything that this does and my next category might cover this oh, i'm going to change my mind i'm going to i'm going to <laughs> i'm going to i'm going to go for this one so i've only got two categories left i also really wanted to put into this either a card holder or a, a wallet now my calvi card holder is actually downstairs at the minute but that would be my choice of the card holder. I love that. The Calvi, the Hermes Calvi is amazing. So does that have to go into this category or is that something that's very, very extravagant to have when you're starting your collection? And actually you can fit your credit card in the key clay. So you could use that as a little wallet. Oh, I don't know. Um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be very, very naughty and I'm going to have 10 items and then i'm going to i'm going to have an honorable mention that's what i'm going to do so calvi card holder is the ninth it's thing the bag you don't have to be precious with so yeah the times are when it's bad weather or we're going somewhere where yeah we just don't want to be worried about it we don't want to be worried about it getting scratched or bumped or yeah damaged in the weather or or stolen or anything you don't want to draw attention to it so you want it to be secure something that's zippable or closed that has some sort of closure something that isn't open i don't know just that sort of bag that is a little bit inconspicuous and you're not going to draw attention so i have three to show you and again this is really difficult but i'm going to show you the three so the first one is this and i have shown this one before this has to be if this isn't my most used bag then it's my probably second this and the neverfull are the two that i've used the most because both of them <laughs> tend to go on every trip and every, this is definitely every trip i ever go on i take this with me yes it's gucci and it's obviously gucci and it's beautiful leather but you can wear it this way around you wouldn't know it was gucci it has a tassel which is just a little bit of detail but other than that it's very inconspicuous and it is fantastic it's a fantastic size you can fit loads in it it's got a really good i just take the strap out of it it's got a really good zipper so that you can keep all your things secure it's just fantastic it's crossbody it's adjustable it's comfortable it's light it's it's just fantastic so that is option number one for the the second option is this now i know that this is bright pink i know however yeah you wouldn't necessarily need to get a pink one but this is the minute alexa for mulberry i think if i was redoing my collection i would probably buy this in a more neutral color maybe a black of course or a gray or something and it's just again it's light it's easy it's adjustable it's it's fantastic and no i don't find it 
annoying you do have to fiddle a little bit putting it back together um but really nothing nothing much these do secure they sort of find the way back and yeah i just think that i just think it's fantastic i think it's a really lovely looking bag as well so if you still want to look nice but don't want to be so precious this leather is really durable and lovely um again it's light it's lovely it's really really nice so this in a neutral would be a definite content and then another option for me for those times where you don't want to be too precious is this one so i unboxed this not that long ago this is the mark jacobs and it is the bucket bag and i went for gray of course i did but it has a top handle which isn't um detachable but that doesn't bother me at all because i really like a top handle and when you're wearing it cross body it just it yeah it just folds down really nicely and you put it to the back if you want and then it's not as secure as the other two i will give you that but it's pretty secure and then it comes with an adjustable cross body bag it's really good size it is a bucket so you are in a black hole and finding your bits and pieces but you know when you pull this in it actually does make it reasonably secure um it's very comfortable it's very light and i just love the look of it i love this i really yeah i've used this quite a lot already so yeah that's my third option so how am i going to choose between the three i think i'm going to go for this one i'm going to go for this one because this is tried and tested over so many years and i still go back to it i've used the other two a lot more more recently than this one but i think it's because they're both new and i'm wanting to use them and i do love them both um but this one is the one i always go back to it packs down really really easily if you want to travel with it and things like that and i don't know i just think it it looks nice it's a really good size it's secure but it's easy to get in and out of there's no faffing with it i just think it has to be this one i think it's just fantastic so i said at the beginning that i was going to add a wild card <laughs> which i've started to do which is sort of i suppose my honorable mention so i've been very naughty and i'm adding something i've come to the conclusion that those are the 10 to start restart my collection i think they're the most sensible however there's one piece of luxury that i absolutely adore and yes it wouldn't be one of the 10 if i lost everything however it has to have a mention because it's so special to me and it's this it is this and i know it just it doesn't look very much when it's just on a hanger but i'll do some cutaways this is my Louis Vuitton wrap coat and you can see it's got obviously the the lining of it is the beautiful monogram and I'll do some cutaways. My husband surprised me with this. He knew I really liked it but it's just a crazy amount of money and I actually feel and I always say this in videos and it's so true I never feel that nice in clothes. I think that's why I like handbags so much because, yeah, handbags just add to an outfit that don't make me feel big or uh, conscious, all those things that clothes do. Um, however, yeah, this, is, this coat is one of those things that I actually feel quite nice in and I feel quite confident in and it's not often I say that. Um, so yes if i lost everything it wouldn't be the thing i would rush out to get because of the uh, the practicality the price of it everything else but it's just i just want to add it in here because i just i just adore it so i'm being very naughty and i'm adding this in but i really really would want to go out and repurchase this if if i could so that is my wild card my i'm making up my rules i always break the rules and make up my own rules on my channel but hey ho <laughs> it doesn't matter does it it's all just a bit of fun so they are my picks what do you guys think are you surprised that i haven't included some other things yeah probably it's how you feel at the time isn't it maybe if i did this video again in a few months time maybe it'd change again and i love that i'm allowed to do that it's just brilliant so anyway thank you all so much for watching i will put another one of my videos here go and check that one out because i'm sure it's amazing i'm sure anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on another one